Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Sam Katie 4 and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity where so far we've been ambushed, chased into a cave, made our way through and then had two of our party members die on us before watching people get turned to stone and then exploring the area to the south. So today I'm going to carry on this area that we're in at the moment because yeah, there are, well, two points of interest, although I think like I said last time we're going to leave the bear cave alone. I want to check out the camp first and then this area over here before heading south. So yeah, let's get moving and see what we've got in store for today. Okay, so... Up at the camp, to be honest, I don't think there's anything here of interest over that. Oh, quarter staff, you say? Okay. Um, it's two handed, slow. Okay, wait a minute. Actually, I mean, it's slightly better. And, oh, increased reach, though. That's interesting. That could be good for. Yeah, keeping our distance, what is, as I said, what we kind of want. Okay, and, ooh, gold, you say? Oh, okay, that will uh, take that. Okay, so the whole thing about searching, oh, a minute, there we go, finally. Should put a large enough to be the ribs, oh, okay, so, dragon ribs. Okay. So yeah, not really much. Alright, fine. Let's check out that other area and then, yeah, we'll move south. Hello. Well, I'm glad we came down this way now. We've got, um, a group. Okay, hello. Who are you? The young dwarf, tending to the stew, looks up. Startled as he sees you approach, he drops his ladle, splattering stew across the ground. What? Oh, the bandit? Okay. Get her, you dogs, and make sure our new cook don't run off. Okay. Help! Please help! One of the bandits gives him a kick as they pass him, and he huddles. Okay. Right, so... Into a fight, and... Temfrith, I think that's your name. Right, fine. We know what we're going to do. Into wolf form first, if you don't mind. And, oh, what? I wonder what that indicates. No idea. So, you know what? Just get onto him. Take him out first, please. Okay. Let me oh, jeez. Okay. Um, I think I think I made a mistake. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run, keep running a minute, keep running. Okay, um, I can't really do much. Okay, I think this was um, a mistake. It might not have been the best thing to do. Although, okay, the dots at the top are going down, but my actual health... Okay, what is that green bar then? Because, it says that, zero, oh, I mean, I'm getting some of my things mixed up here, I think. Okay, right, so, the bars at the top, that, well, that one's got one red, and you've got five, is your endurance. That's what's hit zero. When that goes down... We are unconscious. Well, that's not good. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out a lot of things about this game. So, what the hell's going to happen now then? Because, yeah. Um, my endurance is gone. But my health is still there. So... Yeah, we're dead. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Okay, so... After what happened just then, I don't think we are ready to take on 
yeah, the bandits and outlaws on our own. So, sorry, Temrith, you're just going to have to wait. So, let's just head south. I mean, is, that the, is this the right one, or is it over here? I, it's there. Never mind. Well, um, yeah, I've done that area, haven't I? Okay, let's head down south. Get out of here. And, yeah, get down to the Gilded Vale. And see what's going on there. It will take eight hours. That's fine. Okay, so we've made it to the Gilded Vale. And apparently it's one of the most prosperous villages. That's fine. With opportunities for work and wealth. Okay. What have we got then down here? I'm hoping then it means no fighting. Yeah, okay, we've got... That. Oh, hello, we've got a crowd. Oh. Well, that's not a good sign. You must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. Yes, do you welcome everybody this way? The only answer you hear is a buzzing of flies from the trees. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Have you ever conceived a hollow-born child? Okay. Let me guess. Strange cults taken over. Great. Okay. I have no idea what he's on about, but I'm assuming no of not. Well, especially because it says honest. Yeah, let's see if we can get any more information out of him. An infant born without a soul, of course. Lord Raderick has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. Okay, in that case, I no. I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. His lordship's wife is with child and due any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn, just southwest of here. Okay, southwest and ain't good. Could do that to heal up a bit. Let's. Yeah, let's ask about the whole. Uh, Hollowborn. I forget that you foreigners do not have this curse in your homelands. The Hollowborn have been a scourge upon the drywood for almost 15 years now. Children born without souls. Pitiful, dumb things that breathe barely. Do not truly live some say the hollowborn are a disease some say they're a punishment from the gods in truth no one knows but they began spreading after the saint war and so the name waden's legacy stuck in honor of that foul blasphemous pretender okay lord rhetoric decrees may seem strict to time but he has our best interest at heart if you have any other question, don't hesitate to ask. It's important that everyone understands the rules. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'm not getting away without mentioning one of these two. So, yeah, let's see if anyone can help with that. I'm dreading this, to be honest. Whatever your problem, it sounds like a matter for an animancer. However, the only animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. Consider yourself fortunate. After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. Okay, so you fail, you die. But Great. if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. My advice, however, is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that. 
Right. And yes, the ceremony. You want to mind where you mention that. Trespassing on the ruins is illegal, not to mention dangerous. You probably saw someone attempting some new ritual to appease the gods. People try anything these days. Have mercy, we certainly have. Okay, you know what? Let's just... Maybe so. Okay, goodbye. Keep out of... Oh. Listen. Two tolls. Let that be the last. Three. Gods have mercy. It seems your arrival is ill-timed. Why? What's happening now? Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. I fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal. Okay, yeah, what do you mean? You come to a time of mourning, the legacy has struck at the heart of the Guild of Vale. Our efforts to redeem ourselves of brethren must be redoubled. Okay, what's going on? Oh, no more details when the messenger arrives. Okay, it's not my concern. Does this affect... I can't be sure of nothing right now. I'd advise you to get some rest. Okay, find me afterwards. Fine. I'm not going to be aggressive at the moment. Right, what the hell have we just walked into? Fine. And... Villager. No, you don't have names, so you're not really going to be able to say much. Ah, hello, you've got a name. Were you looking for someone in that tree? Uh, I could introduce you. Yes, yeah, strange way to talk about your dad. Half the town's up there now. It seems like no right way to talk about it. Yeah, I'm looking for someone who can help me feel better. Condolences. Okay. Right, you're no help at all. But... Can we, you know, investigate the tree or anything? Don't think so. Well, you're destroyed. So, you know we're going to have to search around. And, okay. We've got you. Oh, you got a name as well. Okay, are you going to give me any information or not? Oh. As you near, you feel vibrant history contained in the essence of this man's soul. Voices from its past seem to call to you. Well, of course we're going to reach out. You see a pennant waving tall and sluggish in the wind. A rising sun embroidered on the banner. The vanguard of a small troop of paladins. The atmosphere is buoyant if, re if restrained. And their armour has not yet been tarnished by the element. This expedition is fresh, young, filled with zest and zeal. At their head stands a commander, awkward in full armour, but determined in step. Despite the excitement of his fellows, he does not smile. There's a twist to his mouth, his countermounts grim. He throws up a hand, halting his troops. Silence falls among them, revealing a dark thunder deep and low he orders them to ready their weapons and spread out eyes dart from horizon to horizon next twist to see the source of the sound in the distance dust and lightning rise from the ground as stagnant clouds race towards them overhead the soldiers stand only the stacco movement of their breath betrayed their nerves the commander closes his eyes calling a blessing down on his troop Invigorated, invincible, they wait as the enemy draws close, poised to attack. Okay. Right, well that was not strange at all. Okay, well, let's check out this basement anyway. Let's see what's down here. Well, that's not a good first sight, is it? A uh, corpse as soon as you walk in, but okay, what are you? A rising sun and three drawn, 
drawn stars. Okay, the symbol of what was that? Ethos. Right. Oh, help me! You're alive! I thought you were dead, sorry. A man lies resting against the wall, lit by dim illumination of the fading sconces. He has a gaunt, fox-like aspect, and his face is pale and damp with sweat. One arm is held loosely against his side, sleeves sloped, soaked with blood. He gives you an anxious glance as you near his features twist in pain. Good day to you. Thought you were some... Never mind, who are you? You travelled a long way to reach a dark place. Oh, you're an elf. Well, a pale elf. I'm an elf as well. That's nice. Okay, This temple isn't what it used to be. Probably for the best. Times being as they are. I'm no looter, if that's what you're thinking. Not one of the faithful either. Just wanted to do some good, I suppose. Got my arm clawed up for it. Maybe you'll have better luck. Yeah, what happened? I was trying to avoid the spiders. Okay, we can deal with spiders. Ran into a scolder. Might have gone a little better for me if the beast hadn't knocked the sword right out of my hand. Good blade too. Probably still lying there in the dust, but I'm not. So that's all right. Yeah, what were you doing down here? These rooms around us used to be a temple of... Eothus, I'm probably butchering that, a grand temple at that, his worship would come from all over. Okay, apparently can't do that one. Okay. Until the war, of course, even then you'd get some of the stubborn ones, the ones that couldn't get it through their heads, that their god was dead and gone. I know I could do that and say I'm clever, but no, I want to know more. Come on, tell me more. Once the legacy started, Lord Roderick decided that he'd been too lenient on them he had his people go in and put them to the sword left them down there buried under a heap of rock he hopes that if we redirect the temple to a living god then we'll be forgiven and the legacy will end but until then the temple is as you see it unguarded that's where you come in those priests Maybe they didn't have a lick of sense between them, but they still didn't deserve to go like that. Chopped down in their god's house, it doesn't sit right with me. If you can get down there, find their remains, maybe we can finally give them a proper burial. No small task, there's coin in it for you if you need motivating. Yeah, I've got a few questions, let's see if we can get some information first. Yeah, who are you? Let's find out who you are. Named Wharton, I've lived in the Gilded Vale long enough to remember how grand it used to be. I used to help the temple sometimes bring its supplies, that's all. Can I, like, not, you know, heal you up or anything? Okay, will you mind us digging around? I won't go tell them about it. Lingering in these, these places, it's no good for anyone. But you do this quick and quiet and we can do right by those priests without raising a fuss. I mean, he's injured, but maybe if we ask why he can't do it, there'll be an option to heal him up. I tried, only got a short way before I got in over my head. I haven't raised a blade in a long time. Turns out it isn't something you can just pick up again, but you look like you can handle yourself. Okay, fine. No more questions. And, yeah. Okay, I'll find them. I guess we're doing this. Then by the flame, I owe you a good turn. But listen... The temple's been seen off for so long, it's crawling with creatures. But if you get past them, the priest would have been down on the lower floor. They'll still be there. Those priests had all kinds of secret chambers, switches in the walls, trick scones, that kind of thing. Keep an eye out and take care down there. I wouldn't want to have to send someone else after your remains. I'll wait here by the stairs and keep a lookout. Maybe try to patch myself up so. Oh, there we go. He's now up and walking. Fine. Well, you know what? You could have teamed up with me and helped me out. Right. Let's get in then and see what we are in store for. Okay. Okay. Start down here. Oh, okay. There's an extra one that I didn't see. Wait a minute. What's the map? Okay. It's... Decent size. Fine. Well, we're going to have to do this methodically. So, and actually, before 
we go any further. Yeah, you were absolutely useless in that fight. So let's have a look at you. Are you any good? Okay, no. And it doesn't look like any of the pets can help me out. Fine, but I still want to have a little, well, it's not actually a dragon, but it does look dragon-esque. I mean, look at it. It's flying there. Whee! That's nice. Right. And, yeah, we've got some ivory spiders. Fine. Well, let's, let's start by taking these out. And we know how to deal with them. Oh. So, in you come, please. Get you down. Wow! Okay! I'm dead again! They... Okay, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Bloody hell. Right. Okay, right. Just from the conversation with him no again. Problem. So we know not to go down the bottom. Right. It seems to me, like at the minute... One on one, we seem to be okay, and oh great, will o wisp. What are the odds I'm about to die again? But you know what? Let's you know what? Let's use a binding wound first, quickly, and then try to uh, Oh great, there's two Let's of them. Ah uh, nope, I'm down again. Okay, I need to do something because this is not right. Something is definitely not right with this. I mean, straight into a fight and I'm dead. So, instead of talking to him, because I don't want to activate anything or not, let's just get out of here. Maybe we'll come sure. back there when we're a little bit stronger. And, yeah, we've got a little bit more help. Okay, let's see what we've got around. I don't know who you are. Road West. Road East. Okay. Black. Oh, Smith. Good. Ingrid's house. Windmill. Someone else's house. Okay. Well, let's just have a nosy around. Road South. Let's head to the Smith first and see if we can get any better weapons or armor. Okay. It's not looking too good but you know what that's fine let's have a word with him and see if he's got anything to buy or sell welcome you're the first new face i've seen quite some time what can i do for you yeah is this your shop that it is been here near on 20 years seen all manner of things over the years good and bad but the Black Hammer Smithy remains. Yeah, what do you do? You come to us at strange time. The stock's not what it used to be, but we're fine weapons and armor to offer yet. All forged right here. Okay, yeah, what's happened? Let's get some information if we can. We just don't have the supplies. Been expecting the next delivery for near on a week now and haven't seen a sign of it. Have to expect they're hit by bandits. The road out east is crawling with them. Or my workers ran off with the wagon themselves, maybe to make some coin, as if that would dare. If you happen to be headed that way, maybe you could keep an eye out for a supply wagon, or my shipment at least. They'd be cutting through Black Meadow, I expect. Only good road for it. As it is, most of our weapons go to his grace, and that as it should be, but it doesn't leave much for outsiders. We don't have the iron. Okay, you know what? Yep, yeah, let's say I'll see him back safe and sound. We might as well go look for them, but you know, the way fights have been going at the moment, yeah, we might have a few issues with that. I'd appreciate you trying. Anyhow, you bring back the supplies, at least I'll have much more to offer you, a discount to start. And if you do find my workers, you give them a good smack upside their head. Okay. Yeah, I can do that, but I want a shot. Let's see, what do you have? Ooh. Well, I don't have much money. Okay. And the thing is, I'm still not sure 
what weapon is best for me to use okay well first things first let's look at selling what i've got because i've got a load of weapons and armor i can just get rid of that's 490 i'm going to keep the rapier because yeah it's looking at that yeah 10 to 14 pierce damage so i'm I'm not losing too much, but it is fast, so I'm hoping the DPS is better on it, but I guess we'll have to see, and yeah, no chance I can afford any of the good stuff, but is there anything any better? Okay, no, I'll just take the money for now if you don't mind, because there's nothing there yet that I can think of needing you can take over from that if you don't mind okay right let's have a quick chat with everyone in here see if we can get anything else and then we'll um move on out i think and see what else is around okay first thing and we got another one of these okay let's see if we can reach out for the soul then you see a man crouching alone. A series of untamed shrubs, all that hides him from the vision ahead. His eyes are locked on a delamagum, beautiful and terrible. Eyes half little as she hums. A bird with fantastic blue and orange plumage sits on her shoulder, trilling gently, and the man is in trance. Trembling, attentive, he stands and the tranquility is broken by the bird's startled squawk. The deligment half smiles, beckoning with twig-like fingers. She does not speak as he approaches, his mouth dripping sound of awe admiration. She waits, coy and tempting, and with agonizing slowness, he's before her. Then something changes. She sees something hanging limply from his side and begins to hiss. Fingers suddenly claws and eyes black with hate. He has no time to reach for his axe or grimoire as she strikes. And just as soon as she strikes, she's gone. The only evidence of her existence, the shuddering wreck on the ground. He grabs his Gilmore nevertheless and begins to chant. But the words, words of a magical language of his own, scribbled in a manacle shorthand, ring hollow, and the silence continues. He turns and shrugs at someone or something. But if there is something there, you do not see it. Okay, there is a lot of weird stuff going on around here. Uh, oh god, you've got one as well. Okay. You see a group of adventurers surrounded by a crowd of attacking... Zarops? I don't know. The man is with them, seemingly unconcerned by the battle, even detached from it. As he stands in the middle of his comrades, chanting, his expression bounding on elation. His voice is powerful and deep, booming out across the combatants as a rich counterpoint to the chaos of their fighting. With every phrase, the battlefield changes. His allies glow with a pulsing blue light, freezing the Zimrups that surround them. A blazing pirate erupts from the ground, cutting and burning the creatures and sending them scattering. One of the fallen suddenly explodes as three giant grubs crawl from its corpse and attack the remaining enemies. The man continues to chant, thoroughly enthralled at the joy of the moment. Finally, the creatures have been reduced to one. His allies stand back as the man approaches it. Still chanting, he removes his hammer and swings. The phrase ends as the hammer connects with the head, puncturing the spell and bringing his song to an end. Okay, you're just an apprentice, and you're a commoner, you're a guard. Okay, so you've got nothing there then. Right, okay. So, not much to learn, well, I say quite a bit to learn, but not much regarding what we're here for. Okay, I've just been looking around, and yeah, I've got spells that have not been using. Charm Beast, yeah, Dancing Bolt, Nature's Mark, 
So yeah, there is a fair bit here I could probably been doing to help me out in these fights where I've been getting absolutely hammered by. So, you know what? I think it might be time to head back a little bit and do some revenge fighting. So we'll um, do that in a moment. But before we do... Yeah, where... I can't remember where this inn was. Oh, great. Just as I'm about to get there. Okay. You see four people gathering by the door to the inn. Their raised voices and chopping gestures suggest an argument. The first figure raises his hand for calm, his face obscured by a hood, but his height and stature suggest an L. I meant no offence. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. Okay. Um, yeah, let's um, see if we can talk our way out of this. Let's be rational about this. We're humble folk, but we're no fools. Not like he thinks. Mocking goes while he shelters in our village. We don't take to that kind of talk from foreigners. Okay. Go on. Say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Fire you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cocksfeather! Okay, fine. I'll cut that barrel-looking tongue out of your head. I mean, can you blame you for being angry? This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarrel. Okay, something's going on here more than... That's where you're wrong. Okay, what are we going to do? Yeah, I don't think attacking him is such a good idea. But passionate, diplomatic. Yeah, let's try being diplomatic about it. We don't want your charity either for it. Great. Sounds like you like you're defending him. No, I'm just trying not to cause a fight here. Never mind, we're in a fight. Okay, well, this is the perfect opportunity to try out some of our spells. So, Dancing Bolt. Lightning hitting enemies in the area of effect. Okay. So, let's just put that down there. Uh, and, okay, that took way too longer than I thought. But, one's down anyway. Let's go wolf on them. There we go. That's what I wanted. And down you go. There we go. We actually won a fight. Finally. As the last of the attackers fell, the elf turns to you. The tension almost gone from his face. Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that awkward situation. Yes, I'm glad I could help. Courtesy is a rare pleasure in these parts. Though your accent suggests that you are no more local than I. He strains his hood, and you note the remains of a fraying embroidery on his glove. His boots are caked with dirt of many months' travel, but the leatherwork beneath is sturdy and fine. Well, I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Aloth Corvuser, at your service. Okay, fine. Yeah, tell me about yourself then, please. Well, I'm a wizard by training, and an adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire, and both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means in a new land. And how exactly did you come to be here? Yes, the caravan. In Gwythan ruins? Oh, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. And half the locals would arrest you for trespassing and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious, what exactly did you find there? Yes, a uh, Beowak, or whatever it's called. And you survived? I've heard such a thing was impossible. But it seems you either have a knack for timing or the favor of the gods. What are you doing here, then? An excellent question. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. 
Instead, the magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local lord's expectant wife. But I take it that's a familiar tale. It is. And you know what? Let's be honest with him for now. Yes, strange things, and I'm looking for an expert on souls. Indeed. The local lord has searched far and wide for similar specialists. And he has rid himself of them almost as desperately. Yeah, how did you manage to cross them then? I'm afraid that was a matter of misunderstandings and mistranslations. It doesn't help that people in these parts remember their war with Adir like it was yesterday. Yeah, let's be um, diplomatic about it. That, as I tried to tell them, they misheard me. It happens all too easily after a few pints and the accent doesn't help. Yes, I heard the same thing. Might as well, yeah. I'm begging your like pardon, but neither do you. Yet, circumstances can find a person in the strangest of places. Okay, yeah. Let's get going then. I guess there's nothing else we can do here. As should I, given recent events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. Yes, so do I. Let's do it. Come along. Excellent. I shall follow you. Yay, we're up to two. Good. Right, I've got help now. And, okay. That's just simple clothing. Silver. Okay. Well, I'll just take everything for now off use and you as well thank you and let's have a look what our new friend has for us okay so you've got a scepter and a rapier yourself okay you okay that's your spell book fine leather armor Oh, that's a unique as well. Okay, recovery speed down 30% and overseeing whatever that is. Okay, well, you know what? We, I need to rest. I don't know about him. I know he doesn't like it, but yes, I need rest. Okay, they're just villagers. I'm guessing most of these, yeah, are going to be unnamed villagers. That's fine. Although you're not, but you know what? Please tell me you're the tavern keeper. Oh, um, who's best at talking? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so he's got a persuasion of 12. And mine is also 12. Okay, so we're both as good slash bad as each other. Fine, it doesn't matter. How do you do? Welcome to the Black Hound Inn. Yes, um... You know what? I want a room. That's all we need for now. We can do some talking later on. Okay, so it's um, more than just having a bed and sleeping. I mean, I can do that for free. Or if I spend some money, I can get some bonuses. So perception and mechanics up by one for two rests. Or resolve up by two. So, I'm not really sure at the moment which one is best to do. But apparently, I can also recruit, yeah, an adventurer. So, you know what? We need the more people, the merrier. So, you know what? We might as well hire you. Ah, okay. So, this is just creating a new character to come along with us. Well, you know what? We do need somebody else. We need somebody who can tank. So, you know what? We might as well for now. I Is this cheating? Well, it's not really because it's, you know, in there, in the game. So, all right. You know what? We might as well give it a go. Okay, so say hello to Lily, our coastal Omara barbarian who's also a hunter. So... Hopefully, she's going to last 
quite a bit longer than the other two and we'll be able to tank a lot of damage. So, fingers crossed, hopefully it will work out for us. And that makes three. Okay, so let's have that rest then quickly. Welcome. And you know what? I think just for the perception for now, let's, yeah, spend a little bit of money resting in there. Oh. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. But, your sleep is restless and fevered, assaulted by hisses and whispers, blanketed with a suffocating anxiety. You open your eyes to awaken and find yourself in front of a gilded veil, gallow tree. The creaking of its ropes growing louder in your mind until the sound is deafening. Hanging from the tree is an old dwarf woman whose face has shriveled inward like mouldering fruit. Her head hangs limply to one side. As you look at her, she looms larger and larger in your mind until she is mere inches from your face. Suddenly, her head snaps up and her eyes open and they are empty and behind them is a vast nothingness that makes your stomach drop. Her mouth slowly parts and with a gust of rancid air, she speaks the word watcher. You jolt awake, the foul smell of the dwarf woman's breath still permeating your nostrils. Sweat runs down your face in thick droplets and your skin is soaked from head to toe. You remember the woman. You remember seeing her decaying face when you spoke with the magistrate. He called her an animancer. Though it fills you with a new queasy apprehension, you feel a strange compulsion to see this woman once more, if only to confirm she's truly dead. Okay, and we got a fair bit of experience for that dream. Nice! Okay. Well, with that then, let's uh, head out and go and see this woman then, shall we? Okay, and yeah, it's day, so... It's fine and of course it's raining oh lovely and look at it she's glowing nice scattered between the roots are bracelets of twine and bead withering flowers and notes half in erased by the rain ah uh, there we go now i can do it the squat Dissened body of the elderly dwarf woman dangles from a thin crook bro that sags at the top of her noose. The bloated purple flesh on her neck, worn away in patches like moth-eaten linen, bulges over the rope that suspends her and her lifeless head lolls forward rigidly from one side to the other when the breeze shifts. You perceive a faint glow around her that casts no light on its surroundings. But there is a tempered wharf to it and you feel somehow that you could reach out and touch it. Not with your, high, your hand, but with some aspect of yourself that has no worldly dimension. I'm going to regret this, but let's reach out. You take a deep breath, clearing your mind, focusing on your objective. As you exhale, you feel yourself spreading out towards the hanging woman perceiving all that lies between you and her with new unfamiliar awareness. Once you've expanded enough to reach her, there is a sudden jolt to your mind, a ringing electric surge of images and words and sounds. Involuntary, you shut your eyes and feel yourself being pulled down to some deeper consciousness in a space occupied only by you and the hanging woman. And when you open them again, she's staring at you with eyes clouded in milky fog. Her body still swaying in the wind, you no longer feel from a tree that stands planted in a misty void. The woman gives you a slow nod of the head, the rope creaking as she does so, and she smiles at you. Have you come here for me, dear? Or have you gotten lost? Ah, uh, it is both, I think. Yes? Okay, and yes, uh, I need to understand something that happened to me. She nods, a look of pity on her face, as though consoling a child. 
The world looks a little different than it used to, is that it? Feels like you're noticing things for the first time that have always been there. You have seen past the shroud. It only takes an instant. Your soul remembers, yes? Remembers how it sees when it leaves the body, like being reminded of a dream you had forgotten. You are a watcher now, and the watcher you will stay. Okay, what is a watcher? What indeed? Long hours have many animancers spent studying such things. Not I, not I. I'll tell you what I know, though, since fair is fair, and here we are visiting you and I, and it reminds me of better times. Souls pass on, some say through Audra stones, which are the blood veins of the world. They leave the world for a time and are reborn into it, sometimes more than they were before, but usually less and seldom the same. For all souls, there is a time where they do not live, yet have not passed on. And those souls roam the world, same as you or I, either leaving or lost. But no one sees them because they have forgotten how. A watcher sees, though, knows what to look for. And sometimes they know a person just by looking at them. Know where they've been in ages past when their bodies were other bodies. See memories even their owner can't recall. A wonder to behold when all goes well. A wonder! Okay, so that explains what we've been seeing. Um, yeah. When we reach out for them souls, yeah, we've been... Looking at memories of past lives. Okay, so, yeah, I survived. Do you know why? Did you now, dear? My, that would be something, wouldn't it? Could be luck, could certainly be. A storm can be a careless thing. Or maybe it got its hands around your soul but couldn't pick it up. A soul can be heavy if it stayed in one piece through its time. Strong souls, we call them in the trade. Cold, I mean. Called them. Those days are all behind me, no? Okay. Yeah, what did you mean when you said, when all goes well? Oh, nothing to be afraid of, I'm sure. It's just much to take in for some. Sometimes there's trouble sleeping or other difficulties. You should see old Meerwald. He could tell you much more than I. A watcher just like you. Helped many in his day. Took up in an old keep no one would claim. Not far, not far. Kadnua, beyond the Black Meadow. He will welcome the company. Okay, so there's someone we need to go and talk to at some point. Fine, we can do that. But yeah, what about this soul breaking apart? Oh, yes. Entropy. Rima Gan's work. We know little of why or how. We lose pieces of ourselves when we die and pick up pieces of others when we are born again. But less than what we lost. We try to stop it with the animantic sciences, but with little success. No, no. A very small few resist Rimargan's influence and stay together through some force of defiance, at least for a time. But they all succumb eventually, I think. Okay, well what can you tell me about you then? Me? <laughs> I'll bore you to tears, though. Yes. Who are you? And here I thought you'd come to visit me in particular. Caldara de Baranzi, of the Valian Royal Academy of Animantic Sciences. Not the greatest of their number, 
But I came here all the same because this was where help was needed. Such a question, as though the answer were plain. Well, I came where I was needed, didn't I? Offered my services to Lord Radric for a pittance, a humble pittance. I was to examine the Lord's wife, see why the gods have seen fit to poison her womb. Studied her for months, looked high and low for impurities, tested her violence, the permeability of her essence. Do you know what I found? Nothing at all. A healthy woman, head to toe, blessed with a beautiful soul. Such a sweet woman too. Meek, but warm-hearted. A few months time and the Lord of the House demanded answers. For a time I told him what he wanted to hear. Oh, yes, my lord. She is riddled with imbalances. I must have time to cure her. As the birth drew near, he grew impatient, as lords do. And this is where I've ended up. Okay, so what an animancer. A student of the soul. Something so basic, yet so poorly understood. But so many breakthroughs have been made in my lifetime. Had been made. Had been. To hear the locals tell it, we're a gang of soul manglers that preys upon the weak-minded. And the worst of us are. But the best of us? The best? Inspirations. Miracle workers. My parents were soul twins. Miserable before they met, empty inside. It was an animancer who helped one find the other, turn their lives around. You wouldn't believe the stories. Amnesiacs helped to remember their lives. The suicidal brought back from the brink of oblivion. The elderly afforded extra moments to say their goodbyes. How soon we forget when we're afraid. It's a fascinating science. A fascinating time to be alive in a place like Deerwood that does not control the research, no? I love the Valian Republics for many things, but their recent caution will leave them behind, I fear. Okay, I think that's enough from you. Goodbye, my dear. It was lovely visiting. And we got a crucible of the soul, whatever that is. Okay, are you alright? You seem lost just now. Wow, that's a lot of experience. Okay. Yeah, apparently I'm a watcher. That's interesting. And I expect that explains how you survive the biowack. I'm going to pronounce that different every time. I'm probably wrong every time. Apologies. In any case, I put you honestly, since we're traveling together, it's probably wise for us to share these things. Okay, do you know anything about Watchers? Only that they're rare and that they seem to have unique insights into certain soul conditions, as you just demonstrated. Okay, right. Well, you know what? I think with that hmm. revelation, we shall end it there for today. Because, yeah, there's a fair few things that now we've got three members, I wouldn't mind doing. One, heading back down into there. Oh, wait a minute. Is that someone new? Oh, it's just a child. Okay. Yeah, uh, oh, it's day, that's why. So, yeah, of course, there's going to be people out and about. Right, yeah. Wouldn't mind heading down there, clearing that out. Especially now I remember, notice I've got spells myself. And we've got two other party members. Heading back up north and rescuing the cook. And then we need to head off to the west to do that quest for the blacksmith. So I hope you'll join me back here next time where we'll tick off at least one of them. 
and see what time we have left for anything else. But in the meantime, Abyssank84, this has been Pillars of Eternity. Thank you so much for joining me. Look after each other. And until next time, goodbye.